Hello, welcome to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be learning how to save files in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start a new part file. Click on new part and click OK. To save files in SOLIDWORKS, the first thing, you, there are several ways actually. The first way is the obvious one, which is this save up here. You can click the save. And the first time you save, it is going to give you this save as option, which is going to allow you to type the name of your file. So let's save this as test. And I'll just save it as then you can pick any name and click OK and click save. So the next time we want to save it, another way you can save is press Ctrl S. And what that would do is you won't get that option for that save as anymore. It will just save on top of your file. It's just going to overwrite it and save on it. And the third way you can save is come down to file and click save up here. And that is going to overwrite the file. So you won't get that option. And another way is you can, to save a different copy of your file, you can click the save as. And it brings you this option. And we can you we can select a different name. And let's call this test2. Test2. Right? And they add all these different options to save as. So when you do a save as and save as a copy and continue, that means that it, it is going to save the test as test2, but continue with the test. So I'll save that and let's see what happens. See, my file is still on test but I've saved a different copy on my desktop to text to test two. So let's do another save as. And this time let's do a save as and open. So let's call this test three. So what this will do is it will save our file as test three and it is going to open the test three. So click save and look up here. You can see we have the test3 file open. And the previous file we were working on, which is the test, is also open. So if I press Control Tab, Control Tab will show you all the documents you have open. So right now we have our test open and our test3. So when I click on the test, you can see the test up here. So that is how you save files in SOLIDWORKS. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.